Rebecca, it is time for the first installments of our favorites and recommendations for each other. This is for the month of September, of course, and my video comes to you in three parts. Part number one, TV and anime. So as you know, I'm watching this new series, or it's, it's new to me, um, anime series called uh, Fruits Basket. Not fruit baskets, fruits basket. Apparently it's based off of like a kid's game or something, but it is ridiculously hilarious. Um, it is uh, about this family of boys who turn into animals from the Chinese zodiac every time they're hugged by a girl. So of course, like all of these situations are, are built around, you know, a girl like tripping and falling and like a boy, you know, one of the boys like running to catch her and they end up hugging and he turns into a completely ridiculous. And um, lots of like her like narrating her thoughts and that gets that gets annoying a little bit I will admit but just the whole thing in general is just really really funny and really dumb but like just so great I don't know I can't describe it you're just gonna have to watch it um, a little warning there is one character who tends to cuss when he gets angry but I don't think that that's going to keep happening because I feel like they're setting him up for some major character development but just just a warning part two um, good mythical morning um, there was an episode this month called NASA sends poetry to Mars really really funny because uh, NASA apparently had this contest where people wrote in haikus and um, they sent them in this spacecraft to Mars. I don't know why, you know, it made for, uh, it, it's interesting, but the funny part of the episode is that Rhett just finds the whole idea completely ridiculous and terrible, and he's just like angry and sarcastic about it the whole time. It's really, really funny. And like he write, he wrote his own haiku um, on the show called What Gives Mars? And it's just, it's, it's really funny. You need to go back and watch it if you haven't already. All right, part three is news. So first news, the Avid Brothers have a new album coming out next uh, in October. So that's exciting, kind of mid-month. Um, in about a week, we have the Emma uh, web series based on um, Emma, based on the Jane Austen book. So I'm so excited. I hope it's going to be as good as the Lenny Bennett, Lizzie Bennet Diaries. That's so super exciting. And then the third, the biggest news, is about Harry Potter, about Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Now I own this book. I haven't actually read it all the way through because um, all it is, it's a uh, um, it's a dictionary of basically, or encyclopedia, I guess, of um, the different animals in the Harry Potter magical world. So, no, I have not sat and read this book, but the movie is supposed to be like about the guy who um, who wrote this book, like you know, animal adventurer explorer. So, and it's supposed to be set. Um, I think it's supposed to be set in like in the 20s, at least, or that may just be a theory, but that's when the book says that it was written by him, um, was in the 20s. And the other super exciting, um, the other super exciting thing about this is, this is an original screenplay that J.K. Rowling wrote. So it's not a book based on a movie, it's just a movie that she wrote. It's a brand new story, and um, so there won't be any like book to movie comparisons to worry about. There's no, you know, there's very little potential to be let down, so <laughs> I'm very excited about that. And it'll just be cool to see the Harry Potter world in the 20s, I think. That'll be exciting. So, um, yes, I hope this video finds you doing well. Um, I hope that uh, you check out the Good Mythical Morning video or Fruits Basket. And um, there is one of the Avett Brothers' uh, new songs online. Um, in uh from the new album whose name i can't remember the new song is another is waiting so yeah i hope to see you soon bye